Hey gang, I'm Mr. Phil. We're in the workshop and you are watching Weekly Update episode 22. Now, I've tried to keep myself organized lately because as the weeks are getting busier and days are becoming more and more jam-packed, writing down lists seems to be a really good idea. So I wrote down this one. This list includes Weekly Update episode 22. I give you an update on my first ever Aloxy seminar this week. I talked to you about my brand new hot steam towel cabinet, which is over there somewhere. And then I blocked together a few smaller, but yet awesome updates. So here we go. This is weekly update episode 22. By the time this episode airs, I'll already have completed co-teaching my first ever in salon seminar with Aloxy. Lisa and I will be down in Bridgeport, Connecticut this week presenting Aloxy on Diamo Express Color. Okay, exactly a year ago, I did a video very similar to the one I'm doing now about day one in the workshop. And today I'm filming a new kind of video about day one on the road with Aloxy. That's right, today is my first day working in a Loxy seminar and I'm going to be heading down to the salon in just a bit to uh, meet up with Lisa and we're going to work on on Diamo Express Color today and it was a, almost a year ago today I stood in this very spot looking into my car parked right here and talking about how ready I was to go start um, day one at the new salon and uh, we've been there for a year now. And uh, here we go. We're looking towards another first day. I will be shadowing Lisa, who as many of you remember, was the very person that recruited me for this job. I will stop and get coffee, however, because coffee is essential to the working order of my life. And without it, can't do the things. Drink the coffee, then do the things. And that concludes my day. But I can tell you this much, that my first co-teaching with Aloxy was a huge success. We did um, some, some color. Uh, instead of just uh, assisting, I actually was on the, the project and did color on one of the, the staff members at the salon. She loved it, I loved it. The photo is here, check it out. And I thank Lisa for everything that you've done so far to get my career with Aloxy to the place where it is. It's fun doing hair on the road in someone else's salon and completely being immersed in it and having to be creative and be technical all at the same time. That's what it's really about, is meeting new people, creating those bonds with them, um, creating with them, and at the end of the day, improving how they feel about themselves by doing hair. So I couldn't be happier with how my first seminar went because every day that you step into a salon with other stylists, let alone other stylists and other teammates from Aloxy, there's always, there's always a lot to learn. But I learned a lot about myself as a presenter. I think the takeaway from that was I really enjoy teaching hair. I really enjoy helping people find their way both on the creative and the technical side. The next piece I am going to talk about is, as many of you remember last year, I had that little crock pot kind of thing, the little towel steamer, but um, someone like me dealing with a confined space and hot boiling water and steam, that just seemed like a, a recipe for disaster. So the steam towel approach, it sort of went away for a little while until I found this. This is the new Darth Vader steam towel cabinet gloss black, it matches everything here in the workshop, can hold 24 microfiber towels, it can hold 6 to 12 full-size salon towels, and it is an awesome way for me to continue the use of steam towels. Now, how are we going to use the steam towels? There are a lot of different ways, and you can use them on the back of the neck as a follow up to a haircut before you blow dry. It just feels nice just kind of to go from the shampoo bowl back to the chair here 
and relax during your blow dry. They can be used on the face to relax you during your hair wash. They can be used during your color development at the shampoo bowl, just things to help soothe and help cleanse the skin. And while we're talking about cleansing the skin, the hot towel on the face or on the back of the neck can be used as a way to prep you for a skincare mask or a mini facial treatment, which I'll talk more about in a few seconds. I'm really excited to start using the new towel cabinet, so for anyone that wants to try it out, come on down. Maybe you want just to relax and put your feet up and listen to some music while you, you steam out the, the day's impurities from your face. Okay guys, I'm here at the, uh, the steam towel cabinet and I'm opening it up and as you can see, it's got a nice blue glow to it. Man, this thing is hot. Like it is just heat pouring out of this. It looks like a microwave, but it's not. I swear I am not microwaving your towels. Again, hand protection because the towels are hot. Um, I've had these towels in here for about 30 minutes. Oh wow, you know what? They are not excruciatingly hot. I can say this much, that straight out of the box, they're nice and warm without being really, really hot. This feels good. Um, yeah, so I loaded up this box with a couple towels earlier today. And um, what I really like about this is that, okay, inside of here is hot. I probably wouldn't, well, it's okay. It's not that hot, but man, they come out nice and toasty. And I'm not used to, ooh, these are really nice. I got one on the neck and one on the face. Um, what I can tell you is that these towels are nice and hot without being scalding. It certainly is warm enough to accomplish our goals. Thoughts on the towel box are very positive. They are heated up nicely. They don't come out excruciatingly hot, so that means that we can grab them from the towel box and go direct application onto your skin without burns or without the steam being too much. I think in the past, a lot of the towel machines I've used, the, um, the steam content is too hot and it takes too long for the towel to cool down. Uh, these, as you saw, they went from the towel box right onto my skin without any issue at all of being too hot. It's a win and we could stock this thing full of towels for your next session. Pretty awesome stuff. Next, on my update list, is the big one. I signed a lease here at the workshop for two more years. That's right, the magic will continue here in Suite 41 for at least two more years. I'm really excited because May 19th, 2016 was move-in date here at the shop, and we're approaching May 19th, 2017 in just a couple of days. So one full year has passed and that's a lot of magic. That's a lot of experience, that's a lot of stories, but moreover, that's a lot of quality and amazing time spent with you all here in the workshop. So I wanted to continue that and I wanted to continue on the long term. And in the next two years, we're going to continue embracing and building the custom culture that we've developed here and I thank each and every one of you for being a part of that. And other things on my list because I don't want to distract myself too much and go off task. The next piece is my website has been updated so go over on to mrphilhovey.com to see the new photos, to see the new brand identity courtesy of Tito, Joy, and Sky. Thank you again for making Promotional Day such an amazing experience between just hanging out and getting to catch up with all of you, meeting Sky, doing hair, having lunch, taking photos, taking videos. I mean, the whole day was epic. And while I'm talking about the website and the branding and the identity of what it is that we do here, it's a pretty laid back culture as you all know. Um, and with that, I would like the branding on, on my website to kind of cater to that same laid back, artistic, creative environment. And I think we really captured that. I think the photos that Tito captured truly express the creativity and passion that happens here because after all, when you open up a business, the first year is spent really trying to find your identity and trying to find what it is that your brand offers different from the rest. 
and the custom culture here at Mr. Phil Hovey, I really believe in, and I know that you all believe in it too, but I have to stress again how valued each and every one of you are to build this culture with me. And also on the website, the less interesting note, are the new policies for 2017 regarding booking, payments, no-shows, cancellations, and also health and safety waivers. I mean, that stuff, it's important for each and every one of you to read and go over and just remind yourselves that it's on the web now, and um, I'll link it below if you would like in the comments. And lastly, we're gonna revisit the idea of skincare because I mentioned it earlier in this video. I'm just waiting for the product line to come back in stock with Paramount Beauty. And once it's in stock, I'll order a set. And I'm gonna try it on myself and see what I like about it, what I don't like about it. What I'll be offering is a small set of cleansing, conditioning and exfoliating serums. And one of the masks is a one-step exfoliating mask. So that is the first product that I'm going to bring into the workshop here. And it's going to be a lot of fun because as I mentioned, we're going to start performing these skincare treatments at the shampoo bowl. And we're gonna start using them during your hair wash or your, your color. So when your color is developing in your hair, we can just go right over to the shampoo bowl and in the last 15 minutes, work on some skincare stuff. I think it's going to be a great addition here to the shop because it answers the question from so many of you is, is there anything we can do for my skin while I'm here? Because after all, if you feel better when you leave here and if we can tackle not just your hair magic, but also some facial skin magic, then we're really doing some great stuff because if you feel better and if you look nice and fresh, then I feel better. So that's just the way it's going to be. But in all seriousness, anything that I can do to help you all build your confidence, build your image, build your value, I'm open to suggestions and that's where this came about. I love the idea of providing for you all. And once the skincare regimen product arrives, I'll put out an open call for people to try it with me and we're going to use hot towels, some skincare serums, some skincare masks, and it's going to be awesome. But before I wrap up, I just wanna say that this first year here in the workshop has been absolutely magical. And all the experiences shared between you and me have been possible because of dedication, creativity, passion, and the idea that we all have value. And I thank each and every one of you for the influence and the impact that you've made on me and this room. So let's continue that. And I, again, am so excited to see where this leads into 2017 and beyond. As always, guys, thank you for watching. And this is Mr. Phil signing off.